in many ways, the BBC is a series of collaborations more than anything else. And I think that the we believe we've got a lot to gain, but also maybe some things to offer in, in this partnership. We're incredibly interested in how arts bodies and others are going to use the digital space. And we'd love to share what we've learned, but also I hope learn from all of our partners through these seminars and workshops about how we can all of us get better at connecting with our audiences and with the public at large in, in the digital space. Audiences are relating to the world in a completely different way. Most audiences want to relate through digital media and digital channels and you've got, only got to look at the success of Facebook and Twitter in communicating new communities, creating new groups of people to realise that the arts have got to communicate in that way and I think there's a real thirst for it. It's not undervaluing the live experience, it's just adding to it. The arts is about risk and taking risk and actually that's one of the big things that digital has allowed us to do. It's allowed us to kind of really enhance the idea of word of mouth and encourage people to look at video, to try things, to go on Facebook and talk about things they've experienced. Certainly for an art form like ours, where it's very, very hard to convey the amazing things that happen on stage through words, it's really exciting to be able to see the range of the work that's there. For me, the key thing about digital is it's a wonderful opportunity because it completely disrupts the relationship between artist and, and audience and it potentially places both audience and artist in a much more creative relationship with the arts organisations. But I think it's massively beneficial in terms of being able to empower more creativity, more engagement, more learning and ultimately more great art. I think there's lots of potential for new ideas and new projects where you know the digital realm and the and the, the virtual realm and the real world all interface and coincide. It's an amazing moment, and there, there's there's so much potential, there's so much possibility, and you can augment the experience that people get from your materials, from the things that you love, through through any number of digital avenues. It doesn't mean kind of throwing it away and and, and digitising it and only having it on a computer. That's not what this is about. I think it actually builds interest in the live show. People talk about it to their friends. There's a real sense of it making a bigger bang by being appearing on other platforms. So I think it all reinforces it and I think it's, uh, it's actually a great way to get people to the show. One of the great things that the internet does is create an abundance of access. And if you've got more access, you get more knowledge and then you get more interest. So our experience has been that the internet gets more people engaging and gets more people coming to the venue. Digital has been the key thing behind um, our audience growth. We've seen audiences double uh, in the last five years and that's largely been down to um, digital allowing us to reach more and more people. I'm incredibly challenged by how we're going to engage with all of this so this is a great event because we have to collaborate if we're going to make sense of it for ourselves and for our users. Uh, I think this event in particular is really good it's bringing together some people from the technology sector from the cultural sector to start those conversations. I think that's really important. I hope people see today as the beginning of a conversation. I think one very clear thing is that no one has the answers here, but there's a lot of energy and skills on both sides. And what I most got out of this was a sense of mutual learning, that the broadcasters have things to tell the art sector. The art sector definitely have talent, skills, insights that we just don't have. And I think that's where the chemistry will come from. You've got to stay relevant is the key thing. And I think that um, it will be difficult for most organisations to really stay relevant without fully embracing digital as part of their portfolio. We're all learning, we're all experimenting. And it seems to me that, that most arts bodies, my guess will be, will, will end up figuring out that they've got nothing to lose and potentially quite a lot, of, lot to gain from, from, from joining this partnership. Yeah.